Hey, I guess we're playing a Skyferret map. No. Yes, sure. We'll, we'll end off the run with a Skyferret map. How about that? <laughs> Expedite by Skyferret. Let's, let's read the description first. Expedite, or expedition, or an adventure, you decide. This is a hammer map combining abandoned slash underground with overgrown slash destroyed style. Make your way up through the abandoned underground aperture infrastructure to the test chambers. Auto portals. What? What? You just wrote- you just wrote a, on a sentence of its own, a line of its own, you just wrote auto portals. What does that even mean, dude? Cube, tractor beams, and buttons. Okay, that- that's also a sentence of its own. Right. <laughs> Can't move the camera. Oh, goodness. Well, I've got a new map for the next time I need to make a video like Facade. <laughs> I've got to remember this map exists now. I mean, I'm gonna favor that, just- just so that I can remember that that map exists, so that I can get footage of that the next time I need to make a cool video. Alright. And also, if you have not seen the facade video, watch the, uh, watch the fake version first. The- the fake video. It's linked in- it- no matter which video you find, the other video is linked in the description, so if you find one or the other, you- you'll- you'll find, be able to find it. This is interesting. I guess this is just a neat little room? Sure. I really should be doing this in a separate video. Maybe I can edit this into a separate video. Maybe we'll do that. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. If you're watching this in a separate video, hello! This is also on a live stream at the same time as being in a separate video. If you're not watching this in a separate video, well, welcome to the live stream archive, I guess. <laughs> yeah, say hi to YouTube guys, I guess. <laughs> we are- we are just off the heels of having played a bunch of terrible maps by a person who also makes really good maps. And, uh... I'm a bit loopy, as a result. I'm a bit delirious. Cause that was an experience that no man should have to endure. Hey look, a portal gun. Let's pick it up. Ah, there's the auto portals. Oh, you decided to move there on me, huh? Why though? <laughs> Why is it moved to the other room? I'm not even stepping on the button, is it just moving on a timer, or am I misunderstanding this? No, it clearly moves on a trigger. Or maybe it's a timer. It's a timer! Okay, that explains a lot of things, actually. So, about this cube, right? Uh, is there a portal surface out here? I think there is somewhere, right? It's not down there, not in the fire pit. Is it over here? I don't even remember now. I don't remember seeing a portal surface, honestly. There's a room up here. Doesn't look like we need to get in there at all. That's in it. <laughs> Why does this always- How does this always happen in live streams? I don't understand. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> ah, there's, there's something magical about live streams where we just- The weirdest things happen. I don't- I don't understand how that happens. Is there- Oh, there's just collision there. Okay, that's- that's less- that's less interesting then. There's just invisible collision for no reason. That's disappointing. I thought I got the cube wedged in the door in just the right way. Turns out there's just invisible collision. Okay, that's- that's less interesting. Oh, look, there's a portal surface I didn't see. Oh, 
Alright, that doesn't seem helpful though. Hmm. Wait, what is this? Did I, did I not press this button? Oh, is this what got me the cube, right? Okay, this is- I completely forgot. I was distracted. I was talking about YouTube and live streams and such at the time. In my defense, I was rather distracted. Oh, oh. Ooh, okay. I think I. Well, can I see it from in there, though? Oh, yes! Actually, I can. Fancy that. Oh, oh, and, oh, and this. Oh! Oh, this button also reverses it. Okay. That should have been my clue. There we go. Perfect. So, why does this have an ant line that goes... Right, because it's a fizzler. I thought it was going through the auto portal. That was what was confusing me. So I suppose now... We want to get into the funnel, right? Or something like that? There we go. That should be sufficient. Oh, we're over the pits of hell. Let's- let's not go down there, please. No music in this map, yes? Ooh. I think we're gonna find it necessary to get that if we want to proceed forward. Yes, indeed. Well, that was a good- good little miniature mono-portal puzzle. I like that. Let's go get ourselves a dual portal device. Or at least another mono portal device. It would be cool if you had two mono portal guns and you could dual wield them. Of course the game doesn't work that way, but that would be cool. My game in my game that I haven't even started programming yet, you can do that, but uh can't do that in this game. Alright, set upstairs. There we go. And Is that where we came from? Yes, that's where we came from. Okay, that door doesn't open. It's always a game of walking up the doors and seeing which one opens. Portal up there. Hey, look, a puzzle. I see that. Alright. Seems vaguely familiar. I don't know why. Maybe I've just played so many maps that they're all starting to blend together now. I don't know. <laughs> this does seem really familiar, though. Maybe I played a Skyfert Puzzle Maker map that was like this? I don't know. What is this? Oh, there's po- oh, okay, I'm dumb. Right, I think I did- maybe I did play one of Sky Ferret's Puzzle Maker maps that was like this. Yeah, this seems very familiar. Alright, up we go. Wait, wait. That's cool looking, like that. What next? Hmm. How's this place not flooded with water yet? <laughs> Right. Oh, that... okay. <laughs> that was interesting. Oh, you're gonna make me do parkour now? Alright, saving the game. What is this, infra? Man, this is gonna give Nock flashbacks. You can't- you can't make me do this while Nock is watching. It's gonna give him PTSD. Oh, 
I don't even know if Nock is still here. I think he maybe had to leave. Oh, Nock, Nock is here. Yep, he's, he's got the PTSD. He's got the he's got the flashbacks now. Thanks, Sky Ferret. That was totally what Nock needed in his life at that moment. <laughs> oh, it's actually giving him Half-Life One flashbacks. He's getting battery withdrawals. <laughs> battery withdrawal. Right, right. <laughs> From all the batteries and in infra. Oh man. We're talking about Infra Flame Tusk. It's uh, it's actually a really good game made in Source, where you go around taking pictures of damaged areas and also uncovering conspiracies that happened years ago. And the end result is that because of all the conspiracies, pretty much all of the entire town's infrastructure is starting to fail at exactly the same time. And you are caught up in the middle of it all, taking pictures of documents and damage as the world is falling apart around you. It's actually a very fascinating game. And it's hilarious for a number of reasons as well. But yeah, if you want to see a playthrough of it, I think... I can't remember if Nock uploaded... Oh yeah, I think Nock did upload his playthrough to YouTube, so you can watch it there. I think Keith Ballard also played... Yeah, Keith Ballard also played it. There's multiple endings, which is interesting. So we could launch the cube... We could do that... Oh, we just want to get this in the funnel, right? Yeah, let's get that in the funnel. There we go. Yeah, it is a walking simulator. I will admit that. Infra is a walking simulator, but for people who don't care about that kind of... Can I make this jump? Hey, I can make that jump! Can I? <laughs> That's funny. Hmm... Square, huh? What? What is square, exactly? Oh, that's square. Well, that's, uh... Interesting. Is that just permanent, or...? Oh... Okay, then. I can't make that jump. Wow, that's- that's nerve-wracking. There we go. And it's one of these ones that's actually activated. Yep, that's activated, alright. Alright, I think that might be the end. So, if this is the end, thank you for watching, and also, thank you for tuning into the live stream. So, as always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video or livestream, and goodbye.